right as I uh, transitioned screens there, my uh, my OBS crashed. <laughs> uh, it looks like we're live. Let me know, can you all see me? Can you all hear me loud and clear? Hopefully you all, uh, the game audio and my mic is okay. Hey, okay, you all are responding. I think that means we're good. Uh, yeah, I'm kicking off the Shinobi block here. Um, definitely glad to be a part of it because I got some awesome Shinobi runners coming after me too with Faust playing, uh, Faust 4712 playing Shinobi Legions, that beast of a man playing Shinobi Legions, followed by the even, even more beastly, uh, Bacon Omelet and Faust, actually Faust coming back with some Shinobi 3. So yeah, stick around with the Shinobi block. Again, hopefully the audio is balanced well. Give me one second as I just uh, check something here. All right. Ooh. Okay, I think I am, I am set on my end. We'll go ahead and get started. We're doing Holtzima any percent. Basically, I'm playing as the main character with the long, flowing, beautiful red scarf for you all, and hopefully we don't die. Game music is a tad loud. I'll take that. Thank you. Go ahead. We'll, we'll bump that down just a notch. Okay, sounds good to me. If anything, the game is a smidge now. A smidge. Hey, Arnold. Yep, I turned that. I turned it down. So hopefully that's better. Hey, yo. It's good to see you. All right. Let me know. I'll, I'll keep monitoring chat as I play here, and we'll, we'll get that straightened out for you all. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna do a new game. In three, two, one, go. Hey, Koyser, good to see you as well. Yeah, shout outs to three, two. Uh, he makes all of our, our layouts. Well, here we go, off on the first stage. As quickly as we can by doing all these little light dashes. Before there was, what's that game? The Hyper, hyper Light, the Hyper Light Drifter or something. Before it, we had him, we had Hulk. This game came out somewhere back in 2001, 2002. Speaking of helicopters, here we have our first boss of the game. I think this is the helicopter that holds me up and drives me. It's real safe because you can get away from you. But if you do two uh, uh, ninja scrolls, we'll call them, I forget, I'm forgetting the name, ninjutsu or whatever, you do two of those, you can take them out pretty quick. Hey, Faust, oh, hit the start button, Sai. As I said, we got, we got Faust and we got 
house and, ba and bacon omelet coming out with some more shinobi action after this so make sure you all stay tuned thank you all for tuning in to retrocon as sin called it the best retro marathon of the year this level so there's can you as you go play this game there's like two types of levels you have uh levels where you have to beat all the enemies at different checkpoints and you have levels where you have these uh totems that you have to destroy just to get past the, the barrier so this is one of those levels we just destroy the totems and if we do we can uh open up the, the next area For anyone familiar with the game, uh, you may know that, of course, your sword can kill you. That that doesn't happen until the start of level three. Or I should say, maybe level two. Yeah, that's probably the level two. We're gonna do a bunch of kunai shots. Where we just toss some kunai across the room and no look shots every now and then. What was that? It's, it's too loud still. Oh, no. oh my god, we almost died right there. I almost died. All right, so let me see. Loud compared to you, the game is still really loud. Okay, I can adjust that a little lower. Hopefully that's better. I'm, I'm inaudible at all. Okay. How's that? Hopefully that's better. I mean, well, of course we'll see once the music kicks up again. Hey, I am. Thank you for the good luck. All right, so when, when it comes back up, we'll see. Uh, I'm paying attention. All right, so let me know now. How is this better? I'm multitasking here. I'm looking at chat while I kill. Still very loud, really. Okay. All right, how's how's that? Is that better? Is that, is that better now? Let me it didn't change anything. Oh, because I am messing with the wrong uh audio thing. <laughs> I was I was moving the wrong uh fighter there. Maybe that, that might be better. My bad. <laughs> Multitasking but looking at the wrong bar. That's better? Okay. Yeah. Thanks for bearing with me. You know, handling handling uh, tech issues while still trying to kill everything. You know, it's it's hard to be a ninja. It's perfect. Good. Okay. Yeah. So we got this level. The, the sword now is starting to kill us. And basically the story is there's this evil sorcerer who killed off your whole clan, essentially. And he wants the sword that you have, I guess, to become all powerful. And you're doing all this killing to help power it up, but the thing that sucks is that 
you're killing the revived members of your clan. And all these ninjas I'm killing are all part of my character's clan here, including the bosses. Oh, no worries. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, so you're killing your brethren. I should say killing them again because they, the, the sorcerer already killed them once. And that little move I did there, you can charge up your sword so that you can do like a, uh, like an instant kill, but at the cost of the soul energy it collects. So as soon as you like use it up, then it has the potential to start killing you because it'll start taking away from your health. Oh, I thought I had another scroll. Oh, you know what? I actually I passed up a scroll because I was trying to handle the audio issues. Usually I have like two scrolls to, to kill those bosses. We would have instant killed them and I had the second scroll. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? <laughs> That's all right. We, we, we picked up the pieces there. I'm going to be tense for the final boss every time that, yeah, I'm right there with you, Estella. Uh, the boss, again, if anybody knows this game, the, the final boss in this game is an absolute jerk, but we'll see what we can do once we get to that point. Ninja got in the way. Oh, this is another level where we just race by the totems. Or not by the totems, race by the enemies, but destroy the totems. Do a few no-look shots. There. We don't have to shift the camera around. We save some time. I'm going to go ahead and... Usually I do a kunai burst here. But I'm going to conserve my kunai just so I can get some shots down here. I think that should have got that one, hopefully. Yep. All right, good. Add that kunai. Go ahead, do the kunai burst there. That should buy these guys. Sometimes with the, the PlayStation 2 camera. Uh, these shots are very tricky. Trying to just aim them right. As a, another fellow streamer and, and uh, world, or I think either current world record holder or former world record holder, Shinkenzu would say, uh, PS2 action camera. Just the, anytime the camera does something wonky, it's just the PS2 camera being doing what it does best. <laughs> Go ahead and click that. Yeah, the red scarf is, yeah, it's a thing of beauty. You say, you remember the AGDQ 2012 Ultra J-Man run? It was cool. I, I did a, a GDQ run for uh, Unapologetically Black and Fast uh, this year. And J Ultra J-Man was there watching my run of this. That was cool. Yeah, we just stick with the helicopter there up until we get the health low enough to then cast that magic. <laughs> PS2 action camera is a neat feature to work with. E no. <laughs> no, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's very neat. <laughs> uh, very neat and troublesome. And now we got the, uh, uh, the mall stage. I don't know if this is a mall or not, but you got some of the worst enemies in the game on this stage with these dogs with knives in their mouths. They like to block everything. But we'll take advantage of some kunai bursts and trying to get behind them, take them out quickly. Uh, somehow was down a kunai that I was not expecting. I was trying to do another burst, but didn't have enough. But that's okay. Moving on. Get that scroll. Keep going. 
That's what they get for bringing a helicopter to the sword fight. <laughs> sword but their knives are worse the dog's knives are worse than my sword This uh, like freeze frame um, um, event that you all notice here is known as a tate, and that occurs when you kill more than uh, four enemies. I still don't have enough for them. They're being cheap on the kunai on this level. Usually I do a whole lot more kunai bursts, but they're not dropping any spare kunai for me to pick up. Skip these dogs here. We'll use one of the scrolls just so that we can zip through here really quick. Skip, uh, skip through the, the gas or the mist. I don't know what the camera was doing right there. <laughs> camera, come on. A scarf like that getting on the doors. <laughs> this, this scarf can clip through walls, so I think you'll be okay. I think there's another group. Yep. This, this spawn point here, I tend to forget how many enemies are here. I just I have the feeling or know that it's like, okay, it goes longer than I expect. Okay, we're good. Now I'm moving on again. Onto this little cubby hole here just so we can get behind this guy and get a quick kill because as you, you damage behind an enemy, I think it's like double the damage. If you're inflicting, so yeah, whenever you can get behind enemies, uh, that's the way to go. There's another scroll to get through this mist. Now we're in the, the final area of this level. Oh, that's bonus. My health is low, so we gotta be careful. Oh my god. <laughs> Why where did he go? Up that health. Our health is not looking good at all. Hmm. There's a door over here. I'm going to smash it open in, in hopes that there's some health there. I don't remember. Oh, no. You may not need it, but... Depends on how nice the, the boss is with his, his pet guard dogs. This should be the, the final enemy for this.
All right, here we go. Hopefully this uh this will work out. We're aiming for like a quick kill that we can get if we stun all the dogs. all ps2 action camera that was trying to fight me <laughs> but we made it <laughs> we, we, we got, uh, it was it was ugly but we got through <laughs> all right moving on we have the a second mall stage here this one's more annoying than the first just because now we have these uh cobwebs on the ground or or sticky web that will slow your movement Got to dash over it or through it if we can do a little skip coming up right here that allowed us to skip a almost like a, a whole segment that we'd have to normally go through normally i do a, a no look shot there but uh camera fell off so i ended up i went ahead and just looked at the totem and shot it with the kunai <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> okay. And then we got this, and hopefully that is good on the mark. I think it's not. Come on, straight. Gotta make sure. Big move it. <laughs> oh, now they're getting in the way. Come on. Okay, that's better. Use our little ninjutsu so we can zip through the webs. I'm gonna go ahead and kill a few of these spiders, just marathon safety. Or I guess we'll kill them all, and that, that should fill up our Hate meter. Our soul meter. Let's get them. Jump over here, and we got another no look shot. You can tell if you hit the, the totems off screen when I mean, you're not looking at them if you hear the sound. I, I'm, I'm looking out for the sound or listening out for the sound of the, the totems being destroyed. All right, now we have our tiger spider, spider tiger, whichever you prefer. We got a, a, a boss that's a mix of a tiger and a spider. <laughs> Oops. You can hit him once he attacks us or tries to counterattack. Then that'll expose his weak spot. And I gotta get his health low enough to set him up for another Tate. Ouch. Oh, I got stuck on the web. That's not cool. Go ahead. Kill these spiders. We didn't quite get to Tate, but we still finished him off. <laughs> it reminds you of your cat. <laughs> All right, what's this? This level, I think, is like a fire type level. Yeah. So this, for me, is probably the weakest stage in the entire game, 4A. It's a big old maze. I like the music, but I, I don't care for the level as much. It's a bit long. Thankfully, you can skip some enemies, though. Oh, 
Nice. And our Akujiki special. Akujiki is the name of the sword. And our little special there so that we can kill both enemies that both ninjas that were there really quickly. <laughs> As we get uh, further into the levels, the enemies start blocking way more. You gotta get creative with how you kill them and making sure you dash behind them. Oh, camera, camera, just two camera. No, I don't know what happened there. Ultima started going off in his own direction. Uh, go. Yes, right. Man, I think we can skip this group. Oh, yeah, you have a kick that you can do that can break their blocks. So, making sure to pull that out at the right time. Don't get you know paused in the middle of the action, slicing and dicing them up. I think we can hit these enemies. Oh, anyway. take these and these out. This is one probably one of my favorite sections in the entire game. Just cause that's like your first opportunity to do like cool kill like that while in the air. Uh if these enemies oh, wrong way. Now we're in the, the final section of this level. Oh, but I did not need, I thought I needed it. You can stun with Hulkzima, you can stun enemies with the kunai. That's why you'll see me occasionally throw out some kunai. All right, and now we have a pretty annoying boss. He tends to get away from me and was doing so when I did some brief practice. So we'll see how he cooperates or not. Nope, already, already downhill from here. Where'd he go? Oh, he hit me against the wall. Try this again. Oh, what the? <laughs> Dirt, he's showing off. Uh. Oh, okay, they robbed me that time. Oh, he's right there. Get him. Oh, he dashed into the lava. Yeah, this is the wor absolute worst case scenario. And he's showing off by now. Teleporting right back in front of me. So I guess, thankfully, he didn't teleport all over the place. So we should be happy for that. So you love this music? The, the boss music? Yeah, the, the, the whole soundtrack is really good. We passed up my favorite song. There's another really good song coming up. Oh, and so this level, there's another skip that I'm about to try to do here. This level normally takes some minutes, but if you do this skip and pull it off, you can end it within like a less than a minute. 
And we got it. Very happy when we can pull that off, like, on the first attempt. Yeah, and the level's done. In the in the AGDQ 2012 run with Ultra J Man, they used to have this elaborate setup and using the Aku Jiki special uh, to pull it off, and it's it's the coolest thing to see. But it's so difficult to, to actually pull off. But now people have just found out. Oh, you can just jump over it. <laughs> Okay, get up there, please. There we go. There we go. One more time. Just make sure her health is low enough. We're just gonna hop in the middle here. Throw her, her evil offering in the middle. And with that, cut her down. Uh, so far, so good. Um, I think we had a few hiccups, like in the mall section. Can't remember anywhere. Oh, well, besides my sound hiccups earlier. But overall, this has been a, a pretty, pretty nice run. This level, this level is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'm really going to just hope that I don't die here. It's so easy to get sucked up by the water. Uh, come on, camera. Oh, that's not it. Uh, all right, we're gonna do this here. It's a little easier to get these shots off from up here. Oh, except when the guy gets in the way. Oh my gosh, that coughs. That good? No, that's all. Get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, leave me alone. All right, this should be better. Oh, come on! I think my PS2 is on the uh, my PS2 controller is on the verge of like death because <laughs> uh, it's so hard to like do things sometimes with it. All right, that's better. <laughs> Left stick is like so loose. Scroll and not die in the water side, do not drown. Like the water can touch your ankles and you'll die. It'll just, it'll just like form a pit beneath you that will pull you down. Oops, grab that. Grab that. Okay, good. Yes. Oh yeah, and you all probably noticed I don't dash on the walls or anything. It's actually faster to just run on the wall than, than like actually dash along the wall. It's faster, faster movement wise to dash while you're doing your normal running. But when you're on the wall, it's just faster to run on the wall. At least I believe that's why I remember hearing. Oh. It's almost nasty. Get out of here. Get that. Okay, good. And I'll take that health. Safety. Next area. Ooh. Okay. I'll hit that, and we should complete the level. All right. This guy coming up. Not a bad fight, but he can block like crazy. We're going to try to do some two nice stuns on him. Uh. All right, cool. And 
he's one of the few enemies that like most enemies you want to kill them from behind hey hardcore good to see you uh, who's the better ninja the ninja joe or ryu Ooh, that is uh that is tough <laughs> that is definitely tough because i definitely like ryu too i love uh the 3d ninja gaiden uh well at least i love ninja gaiden one i don't remember two as much <laughs> And uh, I still haven't played Ninja Gaiden 3 3D. Oh, what a bomb. Okay, so this this boss is one of the next to like the final boss is probably one of the most RNG heavy bosses of the game. I'm gonna try to see if we can do uh, a kill that involves He's being a jerk, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, he's gonna like let out all these snakes, and if we can kill them quickly enough, we can then uh, get him with the pate. Oh, all right, we missed most of them. All right, we'll take that. Oh, I did not mean to do that though. That was heavy hand or heavy finger there that's the mag that, uh, magic that's okay we're at full health wait for him to drop more snakes um, waste some time that snake run around do whatever but we want him down here what yeah, I think it's just one of those runs tonight where none of the, the enemies want to do exactly what you want them. What are you kidding? <laughs> going up there. Need him back down here. There we go. All right, I'm going to cut this snake down. If you let me. This should do it. Alright. That was not an ideal fight at all, but you 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 know, you work with what you're give you know what you're given. <laughs> so moving on. Uh one of the best stages in the game coming up right here just because of the music, but it's also a really, really fun level. Stage 6A. Love this stage. This is the stage that if you, at least I, I think if you run it, this is the, the stage that'll help you de-rust the game and get you familiar with like the controls all over again. We're just making our way towards the basement here for this level. And a nice quick fall there to pick out those totems. So there, no look, no look shot. You gotta be careful on these segments here because there's a. Uh, green acid or ecto cooler that we can fall into at the bottom there. Okay, far so good. Oh, wrong room. I was thinking it was another room. I was like, where is this, this one middle hole? Oh, we got the rooms mixed up, but it's all right. This is the room I was thinking of. Just jump in the middle. As soon as you see that totem behind you, your kunai burst. And we want to jump here. Oh, not miss. And then the last one. Hopefully we don't whiff it. Oh, I can't see. Where am I? 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was almost bad. We almost went right into the into the drink. All right. Now we got this is one of the cool coolest bosses in the game. No. Like a blind samurai. You can only you can only detect your movement when you're moving in the water. We're gonna try to do go here, though I've already messed it up. Let him just walk by me there. Oh, Alright. <laughs> we messed up the quick kill. I could retry. You know what? What the heck? We're gonna we're gonna retry. Because then that'll give me all my scrolls. <laughs> the run, I don't I don't know if you can retry in the middle of the, the runs like that. So it could be invalid, I don't know. But the cool quick kill, so I'd rather show it. So you gotta get behind him. Oh. Right. He, thankfully he was running along the the opposite end of the room so it allowed me to use my last uh scroll to take him out honestly yeah i don't know if you can retry in the middle of a run but oh well it's retro time folks we're here to have fun <laughs> we're here to have fun all week long, glad that you all are here. And the judges weren't watching, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. But we're just waiting for this guy's minions to spawn so that then we can cast our, our speed up invincible magic and try to pate him as well. Here's our chance. And we got him. You can say, I, I say it's, it's gravy baby all the time. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. I'm glad we got that kill. Sometimes that boss can be a jerk for me. But it was it was nice that we got that. Now we got the this stage is sort of like the lava stages. I, I look at it as it's a chill stage, though there's two parts in it that freak me out. That I, I get scared about. And hopefully they cooperate today. Otherwise, it, you can just relax and dash through most of the enemies. There's a few barriers like this one here. We have to take on some Kunoichi. To one of two of the places that I fear the most in this level. And that's this stupid waterfall. So I grab that kunai, shoot this guy from the other side here. Alright. Alright, good. We're, we're in the clear. Those jumps between the waterfalls are really annoying. Uh, usually I, I knock this guy off into the pit where the water the waterfalls are. But he went off into a crazy angle there. He could say PS2 action camera. Last minute practice done, now you can kick back and relax. Nice. Yeah, you all again are tuned in to the start of the Shinobi block here. There's more Shinobi action coming up right after this. So thank you all for tuning in for my run here. Yeah, make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the Shinobi action. Uh, I need to use that. Oh, I caught up on the little ledge there. second part i hate this jump the jump is stupid <laughs> it's so easy to die there even though it didn't look like it you, you can i've died on that jump 
plenty of times. <laughs> Saturn remake of this. Allegiance is so good. <laughs> the the old ninja command. I did play this once on RGL, but the old ninjas don't speak. Oh, I'm forgetting how to fight her. And she's taking advantage of it. Oh god, stop it. This is not good with her already laying into me. Yeah, this is not good because you don't expose her back if I can deal extra damage. Other idea. What is taking this cash for? Oh, come on. Nope. Don't let that drop. There we go. We have to take that casually. I mean, this fight is casually all, all the way, but you can stun lock her. But the stun locks weren't working as well, so we went ahead and did the old-fashioned uh, Tate. Thankfully, it worked out. All right. Now we have uh, Moritsune. This is, we fought Moritsune. I think he was the first boss. Yeah, he was the first boss. Now we're fighting him again. He's now like super possessed. Ooh, he kind of do his own board special on me. And then this is another type of just casual fight where you just need to react as he tries to dash into you. You can get behind him, you do more damage. Oh, uh, he cuts me up. Oh, that's not good. Should drop some health. I'm gonna pick that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well then. All right, let's do this again. I'll wait for him to sort of pose and then we can start attacking him. So that's why I'm not really even throwing any out. <laughs> oh, 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 calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was talking about you. I tried to special me. Those two enemies in, so it sort of increased our damage types. He did his own version of the Kunai verse. Alright, down, finally. Hey, Grimshins, good to see you. And now we're on the, the last stretch, the, the final level of the game. There's like two more full levels. Before that, uh, stupid final boss. <laughs> so, here we go. These levels have some 
evil pits that we have to be careful for. Uh, iron, please. Should have hit that. Okay. Good. Just run through these areas, avoid the enemies that you eventually encounter. Ooh, gotta be careful with this jump. Come on, camera. <laughs> camera. <laughs> I don't need that scroll. I'm gonna skip it. Okay. Again, jump across some pits. Grab that kunai. Whoa. Don't do that side, don't you do it. Alright, nice. Oh look, I had to confirm though. Oh man, I kind of might burst that total in the wrong spot. But that's okay. So, got it. Hit that one. It's up there. And over here. Whoa! Come on. Ride the wall, or the tunai, for the door to open. Let me just go ahead and grab that. I got some energy I can see. Uh, mine that. Nope. Mine that up. Yep. That there. And then. One more that you can you can no look it, but it's really tricky. I just try to line it. Come on. There we go. That should do it. Alright. And then I think we're coming to the, the final area of this stage. Try not to die on this jump. Be good. And then this jump right here as well. And that's it. Now we gotta kill these enemies. And the final enemy to kill is the door. So that we form a top end and move to the final final area <laughs> before the boss. <laughs> There's a character that's very unsure, but the true final boss of the game is the platforming right before. Yeah, you'll you'll see that coming up. Arnold's not lying. And forgive me if I'm missing part of chat. Just trying to make sure we complete this game and get through it. So we do our throws here because if we enter the room then it's gonna like trigger a see a, a boss uh all right trigger a fight against enemies which will lock us into the room um so we just throw kunais into some of the rooms so we don't have to fight those enemies that, i am oh i got a little lost for a second as to where i was Oh, come on. Hammer tried to mess me up. What the? Oops. Forgot about this. There we go. <laughs> so I, I jumped ahead to this area thinking I was here. Hey, Frozen Spade, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, all raiders. Oh, that is not the room that I'm thinking it is. Um, let me get my bearings. I think we want to go this 
this way. These rooms we can run into. these enemies up though. And watch out for the, the platforming as Arnold called out. And make sure I'm not missing the... I'm gonna conserve our... We can do a kunai burst. We're gonna conserve it in this next area here. Yeah, that was one of the first the first sections that can be a little scary. And I've died, died there a number of times going a little too fast. you run this game quite a bit and I've never seen you die to this guy at the end I've seen him throw the balls before the final ball. Yep. Turn it up. If you die in this game, you have to repeat the whole level. Um, go back to the beginning. That means I'll be down to scroll for the final boss. Which could be really, really rough, but we'll see. See how it goes. jump at all and go straight into that pit Let's hope he's not a complete jerk. He has like two phases. <laughs> we have to tag him a few times before we can get him into the true phase or the second phase. by going out over there off the ledge oh and the fence almost killed me
Uh, where do you, oh my god, really? Alright, now he's in this, his final phase. Well, we just stun him so that we don't have to deal with his shenanigans up until he starts summoning these talismans so I can hopefully cocktail him. This part is cool and chill up until the talisman starts showing up because then they start like that. Start shooting you. I lost him. He's about to go into a super move that he has. He starts teleporting all over the place. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and kill these towers for now. I have Looking better. Oh, he's about to teleport. Get him! Slap him! Okay, good. <laughs> we do not want him to do that teleport at this moment. Now we just want him to come in more talisman. Hit. I could hit him. Tip him down. It's almost not even worth it. It does little, little damage. Ooh, this is this is it right here. I want I want him to now do his teleport special. Now get lit up. <laughs> he blocked my hit. That would have killed him. That would have. That would have did it. He made sure to block my attacks. <laughs> At the same time, his health is low enough. We wait for some more talents, man. We might be able to pull it off. he starts going into his uh, special or his teleport move, he like he can't block anything and you can like hit him in any direction. Good. Let's get some more. Oh, he did it again. Okay. Wait for some more talisman to come again. Oh, I did not know he was going into special mode. But thankfully he did. And that would be time. I forget if that's a PB for me or not. That might be, actually. 
Because I've got to sub one hour with Moritsune. I don't know if I've sub one hour with Hosuma. Forget. But that is Shinobi PS2. Thank you all for the GGs. Bella, I am Wild Card, Bane, Arnold, Team Kill, Shanna. Hey, Shanna, good to see you. Uh, Dual Saga, Grimshins, Uno, Lyra, Beacon, Faust, which again coming up right after me here is more Shinobi action. So let me, I'm I'm the one to help set that up. So let's get that get that roll in here. Get the get things set up so that we can see some more Shinobi action. Uh, thank you, Jason. Thank you, uh, Paul Stark. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and get this switched over. Thank you all for tuning in and stay tuned.